The Gallatin County Sheriff's Office and the community at large are all mourning the loss of Deputy Jake Almendinger after he was killed in a tragic accident over the weekend. This is video of the law enforcement procession escorting the deputy's body back from Billings. After an autopsy at the state medical lab, MTN's Gabby Krevit has. We're learning more information about some of the events that led up to the car accident that killed Deputy Sheriff Almendinger late Saturday night. The worst possible circumstances came together and led to the death of beloved Gallatin County Deputy Jake Almendinger. Here's what we know tonight. Almendinger and Deputy Ryan Jern were headed up to Ferry Lake Road to rescue a man who said he'd been stranded for several days. A woman called 911 about the stranded man and said the roads were extremely icy. Almendinger and Jern were about five miles up Ferry Lake Road when their vehicle began to slide backwards on the icy roads. The Gallatin County Sheriff's Office says Almendinger got out of his car as it was sliding and was pinned under the Chevy Tahoe. We've also learned four different helicopters tried to make it to the scene to rescue Deputy Almendinger, but the weather was so bad each one had to abort. The man who was stranded up in Ferry Creek Road had been camping in the area and got his car stuck. Gallatin County Search and Rescue picked up the man. He was not injured. Now the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office says there is no ongoing investigation of the incident and that there were no violations of protocol or policy from Saturday evening. Reporting in Bozeman, Gabby Krevit, MTN News. Now the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office held a private meeting today where they continue discussing details about the incident. And they will continue to provide updates about the incident as soon as they become available.